It was the first large public school in the Rio Grande Valley at a time when classrooms were in private homes, the courthouse, and even churches. And although long gone, a big part of it still remains. Our Marlene Rodriguez takes us back to Brownsville's 1889 Grammar School. It was an exciting time for Brownsville. The city had been founded in 1853 and Cameron County began public education a year later. In 1875, the city decided it was time for it to have its own system. The public education really took a low level in terms of priorities for the city, even statewide. We only had a population of about 8,000 at the time that this grammar school was built. In 1887, Captain William Kelly, an ex-army captain who was involved in shipping, banking, mining, and land holding, began reorganizing the school system with the help of Frank Cummings, who would later have a school named after him. In 1889, the school was built, which houses the grammar, junior, and senior high classes. It had 12 rooms on two floors floors with Victorian style architecture, a large clock, and the bell hung at the top. It housed enough rooms in there in order to school the children of Brownsville. Although the original building was demolished in 1929, the present school, Putnit Elementary School, was built with some of the bricks from the old school, which is named after a first grade teacher and principal from the grammar school, Annie Putnit, while the bell is now at the Brownsville Independent School District Museum. This museum here captures all of the path, the life story of Brownsville's education programs where students alumni teachers and staff can remember where their schools came from in Brownsville Marlene Rodriguez local 23 news